Great. Hi. Uh, this is the November 7th, 2024 Masters Pirate Party uh, member meeting. Um, my name's James O'Keefe. I live in Somerville. Um, I'm joined by uh, Joe Onorowski, uh, who's probably a Lowell, he says in the text chat, because he's getting kids to sleep. Um, and others who are on the channel, please identify. I'm Eli McGee. I live in Lemon, sir. Thanks, Eli. Uh, also joining us, I guess not with a microphone, is A. Um, so welcome, A. Uh, all right. So first, should we update? Um, is there anything to add to the agenda? Nothing for me. Hey, Joe, do either of you have anything you want to add? Uh, oh, Joe's typing. Oh, Joe reminds us that it's the last chance for year-end contributions. That is true. You have two more months in which to get year-end contributions in. Uh, you can go to masspirates.org to do that. We'd certainly appreciate the donations. Um, so for reports, uh, this meeting was supposed to be last Thursday, but that was, of course, Halloween. Um, so we didn't have it then. Um, the election has since occurred, and um, uh, Joe got 22% um, in a two-way race with the incumbent. Um, oh, Joe reminds me to tell you what the totals you can donate. So uh, for Massachusetts, anyone, any uh, US citizen or permanent resident can donate to the Massachusetts Pirate Party from their own funds or from accounts that are their own funds. Uh, so credit cards, debit cards, checks, um, only cash up to $50, I think, if I recall correctly. Um, and the maximum a person can give in one year's time is $500. And you cannot give money on behalf of someone else, nor can you give money to someone to then give to the party. So, um, There are probably other things, but those are the largely the major points. Um, we appreciate any monetary uh, or volunteer uh, donation you are willing to give. So again, check us out at masspirates.org. Um, okay, so for continuing on with reports, Joe got 22%. And um, I... I Man, just when I go and close the spreadsheet. Anyways, um, uh, and that 22% is a higher percentage than any of our other past candidates for um, a partisan office. Uh, our past three uh, state rep candidates got respectively 4, 12, 4%, 12%, and 13%. Uh, and Joe got to 22%. So yay, Joe. Um, and then, uh, I yeah, I mean, Vermin Supreme, who was the nominee for the U.S. Power Party, uh, people could write him in. Um, I guess I will reach out to, yes, he did, Joe, Joe points out he did better in Tewksbury. Um, which is one of one part of his district, <clears throat> the rest being in Lowell. 
and um, and so oh, we can contact the Secretary of State's office and see how many Vermin Supreme uh, write-in votes there were. Uh, there were indeed I say six candidates on the ballot in Massachusetts. Uh, Harris came in first, Trump second. Uh, Jill Stein of the Green Party came in third. Um, the I forget his name. The gentleman who claims he may he, the perennial candidate and gentleman who claims that he um, invented email came in fourth. Uh, was that true? Well, technically, I think all the write-ins came in fourth, but since those are individual people and not a unified person, we'll put them last. <clears throat> and then, um, uh, was it Chase of the Libertarian Party uh, was next, and finally, uh, the candidates from uh, Party of Socialism and Liberation, I think, uh, came in last. Good for all of them getting on the ballot. The more candidates on the ballot, the better, especially for state rep and state um, senate. Um, I looked at the results for the Workers' Party. They ran one candidate for state rep, one for state senate, uh, both down in Bristol County, and uh, they did pretty well. Good for them. Congratulations to them. I'm not sure there are any third-party candidates, but I don't remember seeing any Libertarians or Greens or any of the other parties there. Certainly no one for the pizza party. So, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, that's we exhorted people. Oh, yes, in the ballot questions, uh, we endorse questions one through five, and questions one through three passed. Uh, and uh, so the MCAS is theoretically no more, um, you're now able to uh, unionize if you are a lift worker or Uber worker. Um, and uh, the legislature can now be audited by, well, <clears throat> uh, if the voters approved a measure for the auditor to audit the legislature. Uh, quite overwhelmingly, it was like over 70%, if I recall, cor recall correctly. So, <clears throat> uh, unfortunately, the last two ballot questions, four was uh, legalizing psychedelic substances, did not pass, and getting rid of the sub-minimum wage for tipped employees did not pass. Um, so, those were the results from those. We all know the national presidential election. Um, just other things around. Uh, IRV passed in D.C. Uh, it was repealed in. Um, uh, it was repealed in Alaska, unfortunately, um, <clears throat> and uh, you know legalizing abortion passed in overwhelmingly in a large number of states, but not Florida where they needed to get 60%. And I forget one of the other states, I don't think they got a majority, unfortunately. <clears throat> so those are the ones that I paid attention to. Um, Joe asks, did the libertarians implode? Um, I don't know. I feel like they were divided, um, but none of the third party candidates did well in the presidential election at all. I think Jill Stein got 0.7%. She came in third and that is not enough to maintain ballot status. So, um, <clears throat> should have run someone for Senate. So, um, with that, uh, any other reports folks have? Oh, one other thing, when I called Lowell, um, to 
get the Joe's election results, they uh, were quite helpful and uh, we should just email them if we have any requests for them, like lists of our voters and stuff like that. So uh, cover that later. <laughs> just says they're awesome. I agree. <laughs> Uh, municipal election divisions are usually very awesome people. Uh, almost as awesome as the OCPF, Office of Campaign and Political Finance, who are truly awesome. So, um, Eli, Joe, any U.S. Pirate Party issues that we should consider? Uh, there are no like policy changes that I'm aware of. Uh, I I have haven't been the best at attending all the meetings. Uh, but I haven't, there hasn't been any changes as far as I'm aware. Uh, in terms of the Vermin Supreme campaign, he actually was on the ballot in Delaware. And he, last I saw, he got just under a thousand votes in the state. Cool. If only they knew who those thousand people were. <laughs> All right. Voter ID being an important thing. Um, okay. Thank you, Eli. Appreciate that. Um, so for projects and events, we've got the winter conference. We um, selected Saturday, January 5th um, for our, for the date of our winter conference. Uh, there are a bunch of places I looked at. Uh, there's like the Cambridge Community Center, which seems to be about $70 an hour. I need to contact them to make sure. Uh, the Somerville Kennedy School, which is right near Porter Square and has good parking, is $50 an hour. Um, the Somerville Public Library branch, uh, Central Branch, and West Branch are free. But, uh, well, the Central Branch is on several bus lines, not near public transit, has some parking. Uh, West Branch has no parking with better public transit, um, but the hours on the West Branch are like basically like 8 to 12.30 or something. So it doesn't give, a lot, give us a lot of time. Uh, you know, the Cambridge Public Library, the Central Square Branch would be, I know they have a, a meeting room that could be used, um, and it's right near a parking lot, and it's right near uh, public transit, but we need a resident to book. Uh, and then, Joe, I know uh, you've booked stuff for us at the Lowell Public Library, and that was free and it had ample parking. Um, but I don't, public transit, I'm, I'm not sure. Joe suggests we could do a restaurant. I mean, I don't know if they want us to live stream from it. Or, like, have places we could project. Visually, not not auditorially. <laughs> An army or fleet marches on its belly, says Joe. Thank you, Joe. Uh, good point. Um, so anyways, we're looking for a place. If you have a suggestion, we'd like to see if we could choose it by next week. By, well, our next meeting, whether that's this upcoming week or the following week. Um, so if you have any suggestions, preferably with the good public transit, um, ample parking, um, accessible, an accessible location, wheelchair accessible especially, and um, free. Those would be, oh, and yeah, great Wi-Fi would be another one. <laughs> uh, Joe suggests a private room. Uh, like the Lions or Shriners. I mean, there's, I know there's a place, in, there is a, there is um, a VFW post in Somerville. Um, that's a possibility. So, and I think they actually have, they do have parking correctly. I mean, I can check. Anyways, if you have ideas, email us at info at masspirates.org. Yep, Joe, any function halls? Well, 
I mean, Joe, would you check the Lowell Public Library and any function halls near you? Could you do the same, Eli? Uh, yeah, they can do that. I, I looked into the Lemister Public Library a little while ago uh, for yep. something else. Mm -hmm. And if I remember right, it is free, but I don't remember the hours. You know, I'll, okay. look, I'll look into that a little bit more and get back to it. Yeah, thanks. That'd be yeah, great. Um, yeah, I mean, we do, we've been throwing around the idea of having a New England conference in next fall. So. <clears throat> We should look for places that are kind of centrally located between New England states, um, which probably uh, both those places are. Uh, well, Joe suggests towards Boston, which is a good point. Um, all right. Uh, so local updates, I know for me, I haven't, um, I haven't been able to, to do anything local. Um, any, anyone else been able to do something local? Go suggest Arlington. Oh, that's, yeah, we can ask Steve about Arlington. And that's not on, no, it's not far. They have a nice library. I'm not sure what the parking situation, but I can ask. I'll ask. Um, and then, um, well, I mean, Joe did local stuff his campaign. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, are, are we on for Sunday for uh, Pirate News? I should be able to make that. Great. Um, okay. So, um, so for media outreach, uh, Eli, what would you think of uh, putting out a press release about Joe's campaign? About, you know, his election results and, you know, long string of, pirate victor pirate uh candidates and stuff like that would you be willing to put something like that together well yeah i can do that i'll try to have it in within the next week or so yeah that'd be great feel free to like i mean if you can i can send you a link to a pirate pad you can like type stuff in and then um you know we can always just edit it or make suggestions or something like that um all right, and then voter outreach, you know, we kind of approved this letter. Um, and the plan is to basically send it out next week, if I recall correctly. So um, you know, I've gone and gotten some dates from some places, uh, some municipalities. Um, but, you know, I, I may this... I, may tweak this a little um but it'll go out next week all right and then uh so once we get people we can start we can start mailing our voters um <clears throat> probably do that um I aim to do that sometime in december telling them about the conference and all that would be the best. Um, okay, so uh, for local campaigns, um, so we've got we've got a kind of an action item or an action plan. Um, one of the things is outreach to volunteers. Um, we have a list, and so. I, my suggestion would be just divide up the list amongst a bunch of us and just call through them and uh, see how they want to help. 
Is that something we could find the time over the next few weeks? Most likely. All right, well, I'll, I can create a sign up sheet uh, and then we can email the volunteers ahead of time and be like, hey, you want to call your fellow volunteers? You know, uh, yeah, yeah, Joe, I can I can divide it up um, and then we'll see if we get a couple more people and then it's just here are the people. Please go contact them and uh, see how it goes. So that's all on the agenda. Um, actually, for videos, Joe, would you have time over the next month or so to get together with me and we can record um, videos about, you know, running for office? I was typing. Joe suggests blocks of 10 numbers make it easy to do small blasts. Agreed. All right, well, I'll touch base because we, we need to start writing our, start putting up. Yeah, thanks, Joe. Um, putting up how-to videos for running uh, because it is easy. And uh, for those of you who don't know, the in 2025 are municipal elections. So towns and cities and the difference between those is towns elect a select board school committee and dependent upon the size of the town uh a elected town meeting or they have an open town meeting there's only like 30 plus cities that have uh, sorry towns that have open have elected town meeting most of them are open uh there are some that are town councils which are kind of city-esque um and and then cities have, you know, a city council and a school committee and a mayor or not. Um, <clears throat> some have uh, select a town man a city manager and then Cambridge being one. And then um, city elections are all in November and town elections, every town picks its date and um, Usually they all pick the date, um, like a lot of them are in kind of March, April, May. Um, I think there's one that might have it in January. Uh, and like Saugus, if I recall correctly, who's also a elected town meeting, has theirs in November. So, uh, you know, different towns do their own thing. So, uh, you know, we need to go and get their dates and encourage people to run. So uh, that's all that's on the agenda. Um, any other uh, any other topics to discuss? Nothing for me. Thanks, Eli. Waiting. Joe's typing away. Thank you, Joe. We need flyers or bumper stickers. We definitely need bumper stickers. Uh, we need more button designs. We need more stickers and we need an updated flyer. So if you'd like to work on any of those, send us an email in footmasspirates.org and uh, We'll be happy to. Uh, we'll we'll be happy to um, work with you on that. So, um, seeing no other things to discuss, uh, shh. Joe Joe adds that we need that we need the same. We need to provide consistency. Agreed. Um, I will say uh, buttons are really popular. They weren't really popular at the anarchist book fair. Um, so giving out buttons, who doesn't like free stuff? So um, shall we adjourn? Sorry.
Sorry, Joe, do you have more to add? Second, Joe seconds, okay. Uh, all in favor of adjourning? Joe says I. I say I. I. Eli says I. With that, um, thank you, um, Joe and Eli and A, who departed a little while ago, um, for participating in this. Uh, we meet every good, good night. Good night. Thank you, Joe. Um, we meet every, um, every, pretty much every two weeks. Um, we have an agenda that we put together and um, we go through it. So if you want to participate, we'd love to have you. Um, the how you can is on our um, the sidebar at masspirates.org. So with that, um, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Check us out. Um, Check us out Monday when the new pirate news comes out or take a look at the old pirate news uh, or our interview with my interview with Joe before his during his campaign. So with that, I shall stop the recording. Thank you all very much and have a lovely evening. Bye.